Hi Aquarius, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. I'm going to do your reading for the third week of May 2022, although it is timeless. It's for whenever you feel drawn to the reading. For the new subscribers, I will go through this spiel really quickly. Um, I don't use gender, I don't use signs, because we all embody those energies, no matter what, throughout our lifetimes. Uh, whether those signs are in our charts or not. Case in point, you could be a water sign and you need to speak your truth, to set some boundaries with someone. So the card that's going to represent you is going to be the Queen of Swords in the upright. Whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. It's just energy. So if you're not well-versed in tarot, you may miss your message. You may be confused and get it wrong. And I don't want that, so I'm trying to streamline it as much as, much as possible. So if this reading is for you, you're going to recognize right away if it is for you. You're going to recognize the people, the situation. It should be easy. If I use the he, she pronoun, it's only because it's in, on the cards and it's trying to, I'm trying to keep it straight in my head. Um, so take what applies, toss the rest, and don't try to make it fit. It is a general read and it's not always going to be for you. So use your discernment, please. And before we begin, I have to apologize in advance. It is Mercury retrograde. I am tripping over my words. I apologize. I am trying very hard. So let's begin, shall we? Aquarius, for the third week of May 2022, what's your, your message? How, do you, how would you like to open this up, please? Thank you. Chess Queen, Trust Strategizing, card number 30. Three and zero is three. So we have the Empress up in the, up in the house for Aquarius. The Empress is um, unconditional love. Could be a mother figure. Could be pregnancy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here we go, here we go. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors of the white light. Why is the chess queen here? For the sign of Aquarius, third week of May, 2022. What are your messages? Sign of Aquarius, please. Third week of May, 2022. Looks like Aquarius to not the chess queen. Aquarius. Somebody's waiting for something. Uh, some results. Um, to harvest something, possibly, if it's, uh, uh, if it's anything to do with uh, an investment of some sort, some insurance, something to mature. So far, you've only accumulated one pentacle. You're, you're waiting for the rest. Wondering if this is worth it, right? Should I, if, if it's a relationship, you know, all I've got was this. Uh, shall I keep nurturing this? Am I going to get any more out of this? Should I just move on? Um, being underestimated. It's a card of being underestimated as well. It doesn't have to be. We'll see where this goes. Oh, you're waiting for a payment. Thought so. This is a, a gift, um, a blessing. This is all aces in the upright are blessings from the divine, by the way. This is something valuable that... It's going to take you out of these mountains, mountains suggest struggles, bring you into this beautiful garden where you can start possibly growing this very tangible gift into something much, into stability, security, even possible generational wealth. Uh, it's a gift, or maybe you have gifts. Mm -hmm. We'll see where this goes. Yep. It could be, it could be a death, uh, waiting for a payout of the death. Uh, an inheritance, my condolences to you and your family. It doesn't have to be, though. Uh, it could be just something that's going to change your life, right? Because the death is, in the upright, is death and rebirth, right? It's a change. It's, a, it's going to bring a beautiful change to your world. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Seven of Pentacles in the upright. Ace of Pentacles. It could be a lot of hard work. Eight, the one and the seven together is the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's a master of their craft, working hard, right? To bring In order to bring success. Add some more clarity to this for the sign of Aquarius, third week of May, 2022. Thank you. No, that, that spun around. That's not going to work. Sorry, guys. Sorry, Aquarius. I'd rather get it right. If it's meant to come out, it'll come out again. Seven of Pentacles in the upright. Ace of Pentacles. Thank you. Truth. It's, oh, boy. Another gift from the divine. Truth, victory, success, uh, a breakthrough, a new beginning. <clears throat> Very tangible. You have two gifts from the divine coming in here. You've, you're waiting for this. You have been waiting for this, chess queen. Yes, you have. This is success, victory, reward, recognition. Wow. You are coming home after a battle. This is the, the wounded warrior coming home after a battle to the accolades of the community. 
Not necessarily, but you know what I mean, right? This is victory. Wow. Okay. Good for you, Aquarius. Why is the Six of Wands here, please? Okay. Can you, can you even be love coming here? King of Cups in the upright. This is an energy that loves very, very deeply, although you'd never know it. They never wear their, their emotions on their sleeves, right? Look how stoic this person is, right? But look what's churning underneath them. That water's just... <laughs> going crazy. That's how they feel about you. Uh, this energy loves very, very deeply. They're loving, kind, compassionate, empathetic. They have a big old cup of love there. You see that? Could be a father figure. Doesn't need to be. Doesn't have to be. But this is a person that's very righteous. Um, they, they're always there to help another. Um, they give great advice, although they don't always take their own advice. And I'm very much the same too. So I, I can, I can relate. But yeah, this person loves very, very deeply. Mm. Brand new. Oh my God, Aquarius. Three aces. Come on. A new passionate beginning. Somebody's feeling very passionate about you. There's growth here. There's there's going. This, this person knows with you they can go places, right? And this is manifested. They're manifesting you or you're manifesting them. All right? <laughs> Can't make this stuff up, okay? This is, uh, you have everything you need for success. You have the wands, the pentacles, the cuffs, the swords, okay? As above, so below. This has been ordained above and it's now being enacted out here. Conscious awareness, very focused. You're very focused. This is success. This is a yes card. This is a go card. What the hell? Take an action. <laughs> Please don't, don't give me a, a surprise ending here. Let's keep it good. Let's keep it good for Aquarius. Come on. Spirit. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, white light. Why do... Okay. Okay, there's been a reversal of fortune here. Somebody might have been uh, taking some action to... to. There might have been some illusions here, so trickery. Sleight of hand, trying to stop something, trying to, to prevent something from happening. You can't. This is fate. You can't stop the will of fortune. So we get some karma here, okay? But you know about this, okay? There's been some action that's been taken. You knew. You have a direct connection with Source. You know what's going on. Somebody tried to stop you and or someone else from whatever this is. They're getting some karma. There's a reversal of fortune. They're sitting on the bottom of the karmic wheel and you're sitting on the top. That's the way it goes. That's what life is. Sometimes we're on top. Sometimes we're on bottom. It doesn't matter who you are. I don't care who you are. Everybody sins. Everybody does something wrong. They all have to make up for what they've done. It's called karma. It's called balance. That's, you know, it's not good. There's really, yeah, we, we put a, a spin on it, good and bad, blah, blah, blah. But the way that the universe looks at it is just energy. And when something's out of alignment, they come in and realign it. They don't look at who's guilty and who's not. I mean, yes, I mean, God does, the divine does, but I'm saying the universe as a whole they have to write whatever's wrong if it's unbalanced. They're coming in to write it. So you're closing out some past cycles in order to open up a new one. Or this one, this person is. So they can open up a new one with you. The Wounded Warrior. Whoops. Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck in the upright. Wounded Warrior. There's been some emotional wounding here. Okay. This person's persevered. They overcame some very trying situations. You know? Uh, that trust is trust might be an issue with this person. See how they're side eyeing. I don't trust too many people. I've been hit over the head nine times already. I'm not going to go for a tenth. So maybe they're slowing things down. Maybe they're taking it slow. I don't know. Uh, let's see where this goes. Maybe they've been hit hard before. Okay, if that's them or you, going through some karma. Sit on the bottom of the wheel. Maybe financially they're not as well off as you right now, Aquarius. I don't know. We'll see where it goes. There's been conflict, competition, some drama and or fighting. Five people maybe trying to stop you from this beautiful beginning. Yeah. Somebody had options or somebody tried to confuse the situation. A decision needs to be made, right? There's conflict here. A decision needed to be made. Could be a choice of two. Maybe this person isn't single exactly right now, but they know they want you. They know what they want. Vice versa, it could be you, Aquarius. It could be a choice of two. How am I going to handle this, right? 
no matter what with the lovers, whether it's in the upright or in the reverse, it's a card of uh, consequence. No matter what, somebody's going to get hurt here. Yeah, poor judgment. There's a, again, it's a card of karma. I don't know how this is all fitting together. <laughs> now that they see you successful, abundant, uh, new beginnings, they're feeling in love with you now, Aquari Aquarius. They're feeling a little something, something for you. Maybe they didn't before. This could be somebody from your past, right? They're checking it out. They're waiting. They're waiting, right? They underestimated you. That's what it is, Aquarius. They underestimated you. You're hitting your stride here. Now they want you back. They want to take action. They're feeling passionate against you, uh, uh, about you. They're trying to manifest you. But they're in. They're in a karmic wheel right now. Okay. They're they're getting their karma for what they've done. Yeah, they brought in some third parties, possibly a lot of competition, a lot of options here. A choice, more than a choice of two. Maybe you thought it was only two. There was a hell of a lot more here. Okay. They're getting judgment. Lack of uh, awareness, lack of acceptance. Maybe they didn't accept you, right? You were a, probably a higher level um, soulmate with this person. And they just didn't know. They didn't buy They didn't care. And because of their poor judgments, they're getting some karma here. Harsh judgments. Yeah, they were noncommittal. There was a breakup. Here, fit in reverse. Wasn't fair. No, it wasn't. There was a breakup. What can I can't make this up? Trust issues here. You didn't see eye to eye. We're on the same page, right? Right. And now you're you're an advantage. You stuck your you stuck to your guns. You stood you stood in your power. You know what I mean. You have maybe a lot of people going after you here. <clears throat> they probably lied about you, whatnot. You stuck stuck to your guns though. You had the advantage, or maybe this is them. You know what I mean. They're trying to get rid of their side pieces here so they can come back to you and they're all being attacked by them. I don't know. Maybe they attacked you and that's the last straw, right? You know the truth. This is the truth coming in. This could be Archangel Michael too. I don't know. Usually I say it's the law, law and order, but I, for some reason Archangel Michael came right to mind. Cutting through the minutia, the confusion, bringing he, he or she... Well, if it's the law, they're bringing you the truth. Uh, if it's Archangel Michael, he's, he's bringing you the truth. This person is... I think they're bringing you the truth right now, Aquarius. Right through this reading, this person's self-absorbed. They haven't changed. They're emotionally manipulative and they're superficial and selfish and they don't care who they, who they hurt, okay? It might look all nice and beautiful right now, but this is a chess queen. They're playing games. They're non-committal, okay? Four of Wands in reverse. They're playing games. Con artist. They hop from bed to bed. They lie through their teeth. They smile in your face, lie through their teeth. They break their promises. They never keep them. There's nothing in that cup. It's upside down. I'm sorry to have to tell you that, Aquarius. There are third-party situations here. Yeah, big time. Okay, they're not going to put the work in. They're lazy, all right? They're not working. They just want to score off of you. End it, okay? This is a major cycle ending. It's not going to work out. They're not going to put the work in. So you got to end this cycle. Okay, so you can begin anew for this new beginning, possibly. Or maybe this is them. They realize their whole life they've wasted on third parties and uh, options. And, and um, sorry about the outside noise. It's got a muscle car and it's just annoying sometimes. Nothing I can do about it, though. Yeah, they were always chasing after that. The Wheel of Fortune just to always land on the, the bottom of it. So maybe they're realizing all their ins insincerity's gotten them nowhere. Yeah, they got to... They've never put any effort in and never even tried. They gotta bring this to an end, right? Or this is you. Yeah, they're not prepared to let go of their side pieces. They haven't changed. I'm sorry, Aquarius. They're full of lies, okay? They talk shit. They're shit talkers. That's what they are. Lack of awareness. No intuition here. They give and receive with other people. I can't make this more clear. I mean, this every card almost is, is infidelity, infidelity, just a player card. Uh, where's the Knight of Wands? Uh, <laughs> they could be sick from this, or they they're really good. Made, made you go through a mental hell with this. Infidelity, I can't make this up, right? You, my God, infidelity again, greed, infidelity. You know all about it. You gotta let it go. It's over, they betrayed you, okay? Infidelity again. It's over permanent. They could be dying from something they caught. I hate to say they're stuck here. Okay. Stuck with their partying friends. It's greed, infidelity. Uh, I got to let this energy go. I'm so sorry, Aquarius. This is horrible. 
the, it seems like if this is you, I hope not, but if it's this person you're dealing with, all they're dealing with now is people that are unfaithful, greedy, they're getting it way back. I mean, we saw the, the, the Wheel of Fortune reverse. We saw the Judgment reverse. This is karma, karma, karma coming. They're getting it up the ass, okay? I, I don't mean that. Li well, you never know. But I'm just saying, I mean, they're getting theirs and then some. Wow. The Chess Queen. Trust. So trust that this is being taken care of. They were playing games with you. You are an Empress. You don't do that to an Empress. I think they're figuring that out because an Empress... It's all four queens in the deck, okay? They learned, they went through all the highs and lows of all the queens. They learned their lessons. They elevated spiritually in life. Uh, they're all loving. They're, they're, it's all, it's, it's unconditional love. It's intuition. It's abundance. Everything they touch, you know, they create new life, whether through children and or through projects and or helping others they bring new life into a situation. This is a chosen one, you know. Um, I, I don't like to say that, but, you know, we're all chosen. But you know what I'm saying, a child of God. And you don't do that to a child of God. And they're now getting their just desserts. I'm sorry, it's an ucky, really ucky energy, okay? These people. I don't know if it's the person that you're dealing with. That's got this energy, or it's the people that they surround themselves with. It's not a nice energy, Aquarius. Please get away from it. Okay? So let's end this read. Ugh. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry you're going through this. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors of white light, how would you like to end this read for the sign of Aquarius, please, for the third week of May 2022? Thank you. To the C in reverse, card number seven, which is the chariot in reverse in tarot. It's not going anywhere. Lack of awareness, lack of uh, uh, acceptance, lack of accountability. Okay, there's no structured discipline or direction. This is a wake-up call for whomever this is. They've been stopped, dead in their tracks, not going any further. Okay. Oh yeah, this is a, 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 a rude awakening. Let's say that. Seven reverse. It's in the reverse, Aquarius. I'm just going to read you the protection message. I, I apologize about the background noise. You might have right now a lot of distractions in your life or something. Or this person's bringing a lot of distractions into your life. Nothing is, is for naught during your read. There's always some something to do with it, right? When external conditions appear to block every attempt to move forward, there we go. There is no hidden message for you to decipher. Like the ocean, the tides of experience ebb and flow. You're in a natural cycle, so, so know that things will flow again in due course. There's no cause for alarm. Stop, stop resisting and fighting against the situation and learn to flow. Even when the tide is going out, relax and trust in the abundance that will soon be within your reach again. See, that's coming towards you. An ancient mariner saying applies to you now. When fishermen cannot go to sea, they stay home and repair their nets. So truth and strategizing. So yeah, for now, just strategize. Wait, you know the truth. Spirit's working on it, okay? They've been stopped. Don't mm, let them get their karma. Don't interfere with it. You don't want to be in the way of their karma, okay? Um, I hope you like the read, Aquarius. Uh, I wish you well. I send you great healing. Uh, if you like the read, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next week, take care.